Spain requests to join South Africa's case against Israel in a high-level UN court, alleging genocide. As revealed on Thursday, 6 June 2024, Spain's foreign minister will request authorization from a UN court to join South Africa's lawsuit against Israel for alleged genocide in Gaza. After South Africa filed a case with the International Court of Justice late last year, Spain is the first nation in Europe to pursue this action. Large areas of Gaza have been destroyed by Israel's military attack, which it said violates the genocide agreement. The Palestinians, Mexico, Colombia, Nicaragua, and Libya have already asked to join the case. The court did not mandate a ceasefire for the enclave, but it did urge Israel to immediately suspend its military attack in the southern Gaza city of Rafah. Israel is not in accordance. We take the decision because of the ongoing military operation in Gaza, Spanish Foreign Minister José Manuel Olvarez said. We want peace to return to Gaza and the Middle East, and for that to happen we must all support the court. Israel disputes that its military campaign to destroy Hamas, which was sparked by the terrorist organization's lethal attacks in southern Israel on October 7, is genocide. In the surprise strikes, Hamas killed 1,200 individuals and kidnapped 250 others. The health ministry in Gaza reports that 36,000 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli air and land operations. The ministry does not differentiate between civilians and militants. Spain, Norway and Ireland formally recognized a Palestinian state on May 28 in a coordinated effort by the three Western European nations to add international pressure on Israel. This news is reaching you from Ogulaha Vanguards Limited. The true face of Niger Delta. We tell your story better. For publication of press releases, statements, advert and inquiries, send an email to ogulahavanguards at gmail.com. Call 0805-1670922, or, reach us at www.ogwagavanguards.com.ng. In South Africa's genocide case before the International Court of Justice against Israel's actions in Gaza. It was announced by the Spanish Foreign Minister, Jose Manuel Alvarez, on Thursday. Now, Spain will be the second European country after Ireland to join the case, which has also been joined by Chile and Mexico. Let's get more on this with Sonia Gallego. She's in London with more. Uh, so Sonia, how significant is this? Well, it's a pretty significant move, certainly, uh, from... Now, Spain says it will join South Africa's genocide case before the International Court of Justice against Israel's actions in Gaza. It was announced by the Spanish Foreign Minister, Jose Manuel Alvarez, on Thursday. Now, Spain will be the second European country after Ireland to join the case, which has also been joined by Chile and Mexico. Let's get more on this with Sonia Gallego. She's in London with more. Uh, so, Sonia, how significant is this? Well, it's a pretty significant move, certainly, uh, from uh, uh, the fact that Spain is another European country to do this as well. And it's a move that the Spanish Foreign Minister, José Manuel Álvarez, has said that they had been considering for weeks already and uh, that they were doing it, in his words, uh, to support the commitment to inter international law and support the court in its worth and strengthen the United Nations in supporting the court, role of the court as the maximal legal entity. Uh, in the system as well. Now, of course, this comes against a background of sharpening tensions between Israel and Spain, of course, since Spain recognised Palestinian statehood along with Norway, uh, Ireland and, uh, since then, Slovenia as well. Uh, after that decision was taken uh, by Madrid to recognise uh, Palestine as a state, the Israeli foreign minister then promptly stated, wrote to uh, Madrid saying that uh, they needed to stop, ordered a halt to any consular activities to West Bank Palestinians and that Spain would be forbidden from doing so as of the beginning of this month as well. Now, Spain has rejected that and has asked Israel to reverse that situation. But all in all, it is really a sign that Israel is feeling that pressure, certainly from countries like Spain, which has been very vocal about its military offensive in Gaza, has called several times for that offensive to halt, as has been requested 
drafted by the ICJ as well, and yet another country that is recognizing that the offensive there has to come about by some kind of halt with the force of international jurisdictions. Okay, Sonia Gago there in London for us. Let's speak to Luciano Zakares, Associate Professor of Gulf Politics at Qatar University. He is here in the studio again. Luciano, what do you make of this move by Spain? Sonia there saying another sign of the pressure against Israel from the international community. But so far, it, it doesn't appear that Israel is bothered by this. Uh, do you think this is going to make any difference? I mean, not... I, I, I mean, at the end of the day, we keep seeing that Israel keep attacking and I mean they are not stopping their their actions but isolating Israel I mean the way that Spain is uh, increasing the pressure and convincing other I mean joining other uh, European states also to 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 press to pressure more Israel has uh, an impact uh, the fact that Israel reacted in a very harsh way against uh, Spain uh, um, uh, canceling the activities of the consulate in, in Jerusalem uh, attacking or creating a very big campaign against Spain uh, Norway and, uh, and Ireland because of the reintegration shows that it has an impact with the government in Israel and with the population that sees that other countries, European countries that they usually are friends with Israel, are taking another stance towards the, the, the conflict. And we have to remember that it's not the only country that joined uh, this, uh, this, this case before also Ireland, Chile, Mexico, Nicaragua, Colombia, many Latin American countries, they also joined the, the the ICG um, uh, case, uh, Egypt, Turkey announced that they would do it. We don't know if they did or not. Belgium as well. So more countries from Latin America, from Africa, but also from Europe are joining this case, showing that uh, despite the fact that there are differences between some European countries and the US regarding the, 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 the war in, in Gaza, there are more increasing uh, awareness about what is going on in Gaza should stop and, 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 and that Israel has the key to, to, to change what is going on until now. Remind us where we are with this South African case at the ICJ, because we have heard from the ICJ putting uh, pressure on the Israelis, telling them to stop their offensive in Rafa. Uh, is that where the situation is at the moment? Well, I mean, as it usually happens with this kind of things, Israel is having another interpretation of what the ICJ said. It said that where they, not, they didn't ask to stop what they were doing, they only ask them to be more careful about what they are doing, but continue with what they were doing, I mean, in order to achieve their, their objectives. What we see is actually on the ground, they are not being careful at all. I mean, there is no way the Israelis can say that they are restraining themselves from um, uh, affecting uh, civilians every time they want to target one member of, uh, of Hamas. So even if this uh, interpretation of the IGC rule it's not the same from Israel or from other cases. Israel is not abiding with that anyway. No, indeed. Uh, we were listening to our correspondent uh, who is reporting from uh, Amman at the moment, Imran Khan, about what the Israeli army have been saying about the attack on the camp in Nuzeret. And uh, this is what we always hear from the Israelis. You know, we're, we're attacking Hamas yes, exactly. uh, and we are trying to avoid uh, collateral damage, but unfortunately that always seems to be the case. Yes, I mean, if the way they understand that uh, the ratio of innocent kill every Hamas soldier is acceptable for them, one um, and 22, what we can do? I mean, as far as there is no a very clear rule from the ICG uh, saying that this is not acceptable at all, it's not possible to say that collateral damages are things that happen in the war, as Netanyahu said at some point, what else we can do. And, and it's true that so to some extent the, the rule was a little bit ambiguous and it gave room for interpretation from the US and from Israel saying that it's not what they actually other people interpret. But in any case, as I repeat, I mean, Israel is not refraining themselves from reducing the amount of collateral damage that they are producing. We see that it's increasing. Okay, good to speak to you. Luciano Zakara, Associate Professor of Gulf Politics at Qatar University.